if you were to think about that pivot moment for you in your career, like what was that moment that you decided that, you know, th no, this is what I'm doing? And then how did you go about doing it? Like how did you kind of make it happen for yourself in your head? I always knew I wanted to be in the movie business. I came out of college. I made a list of three directors that I wanted to work with. That was it, three. Francis Coppola, Robert Altman, Marty Scorsese. <coughs> so Francis Coppola had just done Apocalypse Now and he was had gone a little crazy. I took him Two off Two of them were list. Italian. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> So Coppola, I took him off the list. I wrote a letter to Bob Altman. He never answered. I was down to one guy. Um, but what I say, and that's that well, I went to work for him, but they, it's not a pivot moment. It's understanding what it is that you want to do, being clear about it, having the goal, and being able to see what that goal is. Now, you may not know how you're going to get there, but if you have the goal, that is the, that's the, for me anyways, that's the trick. That's 100% right. When I was a sophomore at Tulane, uh, it's it's a long story, but I met someone who told me I'd be great, you know, if I, to be an agent. I was I contacted William Morris, the person they told me to contact. They said they were only hiring in the summer agents' kids. Okay, yeah. thanks very much. <laughs> and then uh, I kept at the end of the summer. I contacted. It was called personnel then, and I said, "Can I speak? Can I have an informative interview?" And they said, "Okay," because the woman had just started, and she said that they really only hire relatives to stay in touch. My junior year, I studied in Europe, and I sent postcards from everywhere in Europe the whole time, and Florence having a great time. I mean, I would send postcards. Came back uh, that summer sh uh, before, she said, you know, no opportunity, only hiring, da da da. So then uh, she told me, I was starting back at Tulane my senior year, and she told me that I needed to know how to type. Now I went to private school, I never took typing, much to my father's chagrin, he always told me to take typing. So uh, I went to short method secretarial skills at the Penta Hotel in the basement, Christmas <laughs> vacation. My senior year, I am such a good typist, I'm excellent <laughs> at it. And uh, I was still in touch with them, da 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 da, and it was a whole thing. And kids were interviewing as I was graduating at Tulane, they were interviewing for jobs and people said, well where are you gonna work? And I said, I'm gonna work at, at William Morris, do you have a job? No. And I said, well, now I know how to type. I can be a temp. And, uh, and they kept telling me I needed to have a connection and da-da-da. And it ended up that the cantor in my temple was friends with an agent. And I got an interview. And then I went through the process. And I got the job in the mailroom at William Morris. And I was the second woman to ever work in the mailroom at William Morris. And that was a big deal. I also want to point out that she said earlier that she learned from Harvey Weinstein to be relentless. That's bullshit. She was born with it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>